Stuff your stocking with Packard Pokeset merchandise this holiday season. Give your honey a hoodie. Give your mama a mug of Christmas cheer. Let Packard Pokeset help you find that last minute holiday gift. By shopping at cafepress.com slash Packard Pokeset, you not only fill your holiday shopping list, you help support the show. Do you like Packard Pokeset and want to hear it on demand and on the go? Download the free app today at stitcher.com. Available on iOS, Android, Nook, and iPad. This is Packard Pokeset, and I'm poking at your news. Your news. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another fine edition of Packard Pokeset. I am your immutable and unmutable host, Packard Sonic. And joining me tonight from the far west coast is Connie, Practical Magic 9. We got Christmas cookies for you and for you and for you. Yay! Oh. Christmas cookies, Christmas cookies, Christmas cookies. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you send me a few dozen boxes. There you go. <laughs> It'll fuck up my diet, but I don't care. And joining us from the great debate community is Steve McRae. Steve, can you tell us a little bit about your show really quick? And you have something going on, some kind of voting thing for your show or your channel, rather? Yeah, yeah certainly. Uh, yeah, the great debate community is a collection of people that get together and discuss a lot of the topics that have been around for hundreds of years, of thousands of years, um, dealing with ontological, cosmological, theological, scientific arguments. Um, and basically, every year, Red's Rhetoric has what's called the Dumb Fuck of the Year Award. And 10 people get nominated for the amount of collective stupidity they've said over the last year. And I am promoting uh, a guy named True Empiricism for, for many things that he's done this year, such as saying things like uh, DNA degrades in water, Saying that, I, I can't uh, believe I, I when you we we kind of talked about this earlier. It's like <laughs> d- DNA degrades in water. Okay, sure it does. Uh huh. Yeah, he doesn't seem to realize that he would melt in a bathtub. No, he uses the term degrade and dissolve synonymously, and they're two different things. Dis- dissolve means to go into solution. Degrade means to fall apart. So yeah. he thinks that yeah, if he just says, "Oh, DNA go DNA goes in the water and dissolves," it also means to degrade, and it, it doesn't. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two different things. And he, he he also says that he thinks that most scientists use water. For their aqueous solutions. It's like, um, well, if it's an aqueous solution, it, they all use water. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyway, there'll be a link in the show notes and there'll be a link here on the channel. Uh, so, if you want to go and vote for this, just go in, down below and click that. So, thank you, Steve. We will You're have. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, we will have Steve thank back for a Steve. proper interview sometime in 2017. So, look for him then. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Steve. You have a good night. Thank you, guys. Thank you. you too. Enjoy Thank your film. Thank you. Thank you. Out in France, they have some of the most secular laws, probably one of the most secular countries on the planet. Unfortunately, the mayor of one of these towns out there didn't quite get the memo. There's a city called Publier or Publier or Publier or Publier. I'm not even for it. Uh, Publier, I think. Publier? But I, I, yeah. That sounds like something you would do in the toilet. <laughs> it sounds like something. You know, you're sculpting your whatnot hairs down there. So <laughs> Yeah. Are you sculpting your Publier? No, the mayor, the mayor, is, <laughs> the mayor Gaston LaCroix, has said he will try to have this statue removed. But the thing is, he's kind of the one that put this up to begin with. Mm-hmm. Kind of your thoughts. Yeah, well, uh, he went on a walk. He went on a walk, on a hike. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. And this, where this is, is uh, between, it's on the border of uh, Switzerland. Um, and, it, yeah, it's near Lake Geneva. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, when he went, Publier Mayor uh, Gaston Lacroix was on this hike. He, he was inspired to build this landmark. He ordered the statue soon after his hike, paying for it with 30,000 euros of public funds. He admitted that for 48 hours it was illegal, but he said that he was re- he reimbursed the municipality with donations from around the world. Okay, well, yeah. that makes it legal then. <laughs> he was trying to do something that was kind of reaching across borders, literally, you know, uh, the statue is inscribed, Our Lady of Lake Geneva is watching over your children and sits on a 50 square meter public park. Um, if they don't 
take this down there's well it's a hundred and it's a hundred dollars in euros but there'll be a 106 dollar a day fine uh, the three the, they have three months as of November 24th to take this down and evidently Gaston feels that it's a tyranny of uh, that's against secular religion. tyranny that's saying hey you can't put a religious object on a secular on, on, on public ground that taxpayers right. pay for because mm -hmm. then you're promoting their you're promoting one religion I was really surprised actually because again the the US is the center of any map that I see so I really don't know about other countries governments yeah I'm, you know, and that's it, <laughs> what other countries there's, there's yeah. other countries what what yeah. Exactly. How does that work? How does that work? But I didn't oh. realize in 1905, France basically adopted this really strict um, uh, policy of secularism. I don't agree with everything they've done. They've tried to ban hijabs and burqas and burkinis and things because of religious uh, symbols uh, that people, you know, I don't, I don't understand how you can regulate how somebody chooses to dress for their religious affi affiliation. Right. Uh, but putting up statues, that's a whole different thing. You can't wear a statue. You can't wear a statue. Well, it's no wonder I, I, I go and I go swimming. I, I end up sinking right to the bottom. <laughs> oh. What statue are you trying to wear? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Well, I was trying to make everybody believe I was the, you know, the, you know, the, the, the one that's really sculpted, David, you know. Oh, I see. Yeah. But that th they see right through that because you know there's no arms. I see. <laughs> no, you're thinking of Venus. Oh, that's Venus. No, Venus has David no arms. Has arms. <laughs> that's right. David has arms. You're swimming with Venus, and I'm she's swimming with Venus. Yeah, she, she's weighing me down. <laughs> <laughs> Those bitches, they just won't do anything for themselves. That's right. <laughs> Fucking woman. She didn't want to even want to help me swim. She's just sitting there. All right, I'm hang I, I can't hang on to you, Packard. You gotta hold on to me. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I guess uh, religious persecution. Everybody's feeling it or something. Yeah, I just feel the religious persecution. <laughs> <laughs> God, those geezers loves talking about that. Yes, he does. He's good at that. He's very he's good at right. that. He's very good at he's that. He's got he's got some specials coming up for the special persecution stuff. I, and you, if you want to have a uh, a message, send him a message on. He's on Google Plus as Guyless Geezer, and uh, check out his channel also. Yeah. Did you have any other additional thoughts on this, Connie? Well, it was strange because the statue went up in 2011, and a complaint wasn't filed until. January 2015, but maybe that's just how their legal system works over there, since I don't understand how their political system works. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised that, you know, they were thinking about it before they filed a complaint. Um, I don't, and I don't actually have the um, group that filed the complaint, but uh, kudos to them for catching it. Uh, the Grenoble Tribunal Administration ordered the statue's removal, uh, but I don't think that's who filed the complaint. So, anyway, you know, Mary, you need to get the heck out of there and go back to your, <laughs> go back to Bethlehem or wherever it is you go to, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Teach me how to be sensible, logical, or responsible. And tonight we have our logic game. Connie, let's see if you can get this. Oh, good. I'm glad that our special guest is gone because I, this always makes me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's your situation. Stripping right. privacy rights only matters to those with something to hide. You must have something to hide if you oppose stripping privacy protections. Is this A, appeal to anonymous authority, B, circular logic, C, appeal to ignorance, or D, two wrongs make a right? Wow, okay, I'm torn. I... Okay, I'm going to say B, you th uh, so you circular think logic. I think it's circular logic. Yes, oh. I do. Okay. Godless Geezer is still in our chat room there. What do you think, Godless Geezer? Do you have a choice? He's Googling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being good. I'm not Googling nothing. He says he doesn't okay. know. So, all right. Well, that's, that's fine. Just guess. You want to make a guess? Just, just to make a guess. Just make a guess. He says B also. He's guessing. We have a consensus. We have a consensus. All that right. means it's right. 
<laughs> what fallacy is that? <laughs> that? You know what? I think that, I think that, that I think that that's a bandwagon fallacy. Yes. And the answer is B. Circular logic: a conclusion that is derived from a premise based on the conclusion. There's this great example on the net. It says the napkin religion is the one true religion because it says so right here on this napkin. <laughs> that's my favorite. That's my favorite example of the circular religion, or circular logic. Or okay. another one is the Bible is true because God says so. And why does a God say so? Because it says so in the Bible. So therefore, the Bible is true because the Bible says so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. Ooh, so yay. Yay. So you, you got it, Connie. Great job. Good job. And, and geezer. And geezer, Godless yes. Geezer. Godless geezer, you did a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Contact us by email at ppappodcast at gmail.com or on Twitter as at Packard Folks at. Like us on Facebook.com slash Packard Folks at. Call our Google Voice and leave a message at 662-709-PPAP or 662-709-7727 and we will respond to it on the show. Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central Time. Join us live at vonlive.tv slash Packard folks at. During the show, you can share your thoughts with us by calling 857-216-3200 using PIN number 35368 or on uberconference.com slash Packard folks at. For links to the stories, visit our show page at packardfolksat.wordpress.com. You can help support the show by purchasing merchandise from cafepress.com slash Packard Folks at or make a donation to the show at patreon.com slash Packard Folks at. If you can't afford any money, why not share the show with your friends and rate us on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Spreaker, and on YouTube. For everyone that shares and rates us, you kick ass. The Atheists, The Bible, and No Wardrobe, The Podcast. Wait a minute. No wardrobe? You mean we're going to be naked while we do this? Well, seeing how I'm an atheist and I'm reading the Bible and since clothes are flammable, Fire! 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 I thought it might be a good idea to take them all off first. <laughs> naked or not, follow along as we read, analyze, and try to keep you from falling asleep as we go through this boring-ass book. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spreaker. Who knows? We may even be on YouTube someday. And be sure to join us on our secondary podcast, The Atheist, The Bible, and No Wardrobe. And we're having a lot of fun with it. And a new episode dropped today at 7 o'clock like it was supposed to. Goddamn fucking <laughs> WordPress. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> I don't want to the world hold together. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, something's happening tonight, Connie. It's, just... <laughs> it's because Trump. Oh God, it must be because Trump. Was Trump did say he's going to make America great again. So, so WordPress is like, oh shit, we better get on the ball. 2006 killing is killing all. 16 is killing all of the good good singers and actors and people we love. And missing all of the big targets. Yeah. Maybe Armageddon is happening uh, pretty uh, soon. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. 2016, I just go take a shit. Some, it, just, <laughs> just, it has been all over. Yeah, all over us. As a matter of uh, fact, just recently, just the other day, as a matter of fact, John Glenn just passed away too. So Yes. Yeah, yeah, everybody was saying, I was hearing a lot of people saying that he was like, he had died like in the Arctic or something. It's like, no, he died in a, ho no, in a hospital was, in Ohio. <laughs> Yeah. So well, he was, I, that was yeah, that was my mistake. It was another astronaut who was actually down in Antarctica, and yeah. he had a fall, and he was airlifted out. But I couldn't remember who. It was. Yeah, no. The, my daughter so. was my. I told my daughter, she's like, "Isn't he in Antarctica?" I was like, eh, "I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> all those astronauts look the same. Yeah, they all look the same from that far <laughs> away. You know, they're all in outer space. You know. You, you, they look like a little dot floating in the yeah, sky. I'm sitting in my tin can. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it right there, Bob. What kind of civilized people eat the body and blood of their savior? 
There's a new game out, and normally we don't cover stories like this because the fact is it's a... Kickstarter. Thank you, it's a Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. But they've already met their goal, and I just had to talk about it because it's just so fucking funny. It's (laughs) called The Santa vs. Jesus, the epic party game. It's for three or more players, and basically it's a blasphemous game. And it's being being touted as the most offensive game you can fucking get. This is not a, I I'm not getting any monies from these people. I just we saw the story. We had to talk about this. Is just so fucking funny. It's made by a company. <laughs> it's made by the Lundy the Lundy company Como by Como Games. It's played by two teams. One of each of the f- uh, festive figures who battle throughout through challenges and attempt to win the most believers. <laughs> that's funny the most complained about game in history is what they say here on the page Webster says he believes a board game helping people learn about Jesus at Christmas would be a great innovation but he has a problem with a Santa versus Jesus game because it trivializes Christian belief really <laughs> it's... and equates them both as fictional characters they are both fucking fictional characters dude <laughs> <laughs> the irony is totally lost. I know the totally these I, people, I, isn't it? I know exactly. With four out of ten people in the UK mistakenly thinking that Jesus was not a histor- real historical person, this game <laughs> won't help correct that. It's not supposed to, dude. They're both fucking fictional. And he continues on here. At the heart, Christmas is about celebrating the birth of Jesus and to give the gift that he brings, the life he brings. What life? You're, you're worshiping death. You're not worshiping life. Santa comes from a story of St. Nicholas, who was a Christian bishop, and he was generous to the poor and was very happy to have Christ in, as his king. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I, that's what I, was, I, I remember hearing something about this somewhere else. But he lived before Christ did, so he couldn't have done that. No. I've never heard that. But then again, you know, we're talking about legends. Yeah, we're so. talking about legends and in, in people who didn't exist anyway so it really doesn't matter there may have been some guy who went around and gave presents to girls who didn't have dowries which was, uh, that's how i understand saint nicholas but you know, yeah so the way the way that the catholic pat you know the catholic church passes out sainthoods i you know considering <laughs> some of them have been recently inducted yeah <laughs> you know mother Teresa, lady of making everybody else suffer internally yeah Ugh, that you know, she was a fucking this is, cunt. This, but this game about this game. Yeah, but anyway, I, we'll get back to this I, game. I watched the uh, I watched the video of the how to play, and I'm questioning how much replay value the cards you get with the game mm-hmm. have. I think they might have styled it uh, more along the lines of maybe like the cards against humanity. Maybe they want to provide more cards. I'm trying to figure out how it's going to. Uh, be replayed but oh my gosh you're trying to convert people to your belief system right. and uh it, and that's yeah it's it's beautiful it's just they, beautiful. they have they have some pictures of the cards i'm gonna read a yes. couple of these here on one card it has all these pictures that says i love jesus and jesus is the jesus fish by the way if you have a jesus fish on your car or you know someone that does that's a pagan symbol by the way just saying anyway one of the <laughs> <laughs> One of the cards, when it says Jesus on it, it, says, Last night I prayed so hard my hands were bleeding. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs> or right. I don't know. Another one says, I've been so good this year, I went to a friend's poetry reading and pretended to care. And that's, Santa, that's, Santa, that's a baby. Santa card. That's yeah. a Santa card. And the other one, I'm not even sure who this one is. I think it's a Love Jesus one. It says, Restoring Order. Yes. It says restraining order. I must stay 300 feet away from Jesus Christ because you well, love then, him so much. Then the kid with braces below. My favorite part of the Bible is where Gollum falls into the volcano. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it. Oh, my gosh. It. Yeah. Is this this is on your wish list? This Amazon? is on my wish list. If I had an Amazon okay. wish list, I would want this on my Amazon wish list. So I, I would, if I had the money to get this, I would fucking get this. But do you know the thing is, I would have no one to play it with because I live alone. <laughs> Where, if somebody gets me this game, we, I will find a way to send some people some of the cards and we'll do, or, or, or whatever. And we will just do like a, a night of just playing this game on the air. 
you know, we'll just do an on-air game night or something. So <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> You know, and our comment section at the bottom of this, I don't want to go into a great detail, but the comment section on the article that we have here is just hilarious because there's some oh, people yeah. who have some real problems with this. And there's other people who are just laughing their asses off. And I just love it. I like this one here. It says, I know Santa is real. When my grandchildren <laughs> left a glass of milk and a piece of cake for him, <laughs> they were gone in the morning and he left them presents by made by his elves. What more evidence do you need? <laughs> or what more evidence is needed, whatever. Same difference. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you leave, and if you leave Santa some some hot buttered rum. And then you find Santa underneath you... your tree in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Santa, oh you have to God. go. You, there's other people that <laughs> want to see you. And he's like, he didn't give me any presents. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. And another one here. Obviously, this is a for... When I read this, it'll be probably a believer, I believe. It says, Broga, I know Jesus is real. He answers all my prayers, though sometimes the answer is no, which is always the the, the great comeback line. It's like, he answers all of them. When he doesn't answer it, that just means he means no. <laughs> how, do you, how, do you, how do you just tell the difference between <laughs> no and just not being getting the shit you asked for because it doesn't it's not going to come from a deity that you can't prove is real. Anyway, he goes, I dare you, creators of this game and Amazon, to make a game about Muhammad. You wouldn't, would you? Fuck I oh, would. Shit. If I, I just replace the name God Jesus with Muhammad. Same difference. He may be right, but so what? Shouldn't he be celebrating the fact that in most cases you can mock Christianity without needing to check under your car for a bomb afterwards. <laughs> Jesus Christ, really? You know what? I wish that people of all religions would just realize that it's personal. And if you don't impose it on other people, then the people like this, like the Muslim, you know, people who want people who want to create violence over religion yeah. <clears throat> wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Or they'd be they'd be roundly just like you know, everybody would just say no, you know, anyway, yeah. maybe not. Maybe I'm just living in a in a John Lennon world, you know, imagine, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, there, there'll be links here at the at the bottom here below. So you can check these pages out for yourself later. Why does everyone keep thinking I'm a troll? Da, 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 da. And tonight we have our true or troll and Connie is going to see if she can troll me. By headlines, and there's been a lot of news stories lately about fake headlines. Well, we have been on the fore fucking front of fake headlines for a while now, have we not, <laughs> Connie? That's why we do yes, this. Yes, we have. That's yes, why, we have. That's why we do this segment because we, we we take these headlines and we try to determine just by the headline alone to see if our news knows is in order or needs to be fixed and put in a <laughs> cast and say, hey, you're not going near the news until your ca until your cast comes off. You know what we what we need to fix to fix that is actually to get rid of Sarah Palin. Yes. Uh, <laughs> get rid of Sarah <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, get rid of get, if we get rid of these people, then we won't have uh, and Alex Jones, who's at the forefront of he's at yeah, uh, the I forefront know. of Actually, creating the fake news headlines. Exactly. So yeah, oh, okay. I like so what Gavin Skeezer said in the chat. He says, "I asked Jesus to give himself a blowjob, and he did." I'm sorry, <laughs> I just had to put that in there. All right, back back to what we were talking about, Connie. What is your first headline for this evening? Jesus is the Y in YMCA. Um. Okay. <laughs> Rogue beaver apprehended after trashing store that sells fake Christmas trees. I'm going to say that's a true. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> you wanted him some wood, I guess. I guess. I, you don't Christmas. have you don't have real trees. You're not a real Christian <laughs> store. Can you imagine that poor beaver. Anyway, <clears throat> bites into the first one. Like, God damn, there's a hard tree. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Volunteer workers gather near a Mexican border to start building a wall. I'm going to call troll on this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah, World News Daily report. Oh, World News one. Daily. Yeah, that figures. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the rogue beaver was HuffPo. Okay. This Canadian town is threatening to punish drunk drivers with Nickelback. 
Actually, that's a true. And I. <laughs> You've read it already. No, I've been hearing about it, actually. It's been all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Half po. Yes. <laughs> China. Scientists discover genes responsible for size of the penis. I. Uh, I would hope they would, but I think that's a troll. Yes, it is. World News Daily report. Come on, Chinese. You're, you're... <laughs> you guys are the old hackers out there. Hack us some bigger penises. <laughs> Me love you a long time. Me All love right. you a very long time. No, that was racist. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was totally, that was terrible. I, I'm sorry. I, oh, God, I'm so sorry. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, can you edit that out, please? <laughs> Please? No. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. That's all right. Don't worry about it. All right. Okay. Last one. Because you're four for four. So. Four for four. Yeah. Uh, Ohio is about to give gun owners more civil rights protections than gay workers. Oh, Christ. Actually, I believe that one's probably most likely true. Yes. Sadly, it is. And that's from? The trace.org. Oh, my. Yeah. So you you win. You I got 100%, 100% tonight. Awesome. Yay. I, I made only 60% last <laughs> time with Tom, so. Oh, good for Tom. Yeah, Tom t told me pretty well, actually. <laughs> good for him. Yeah. <laughs> I passed the torch. No, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I still like doing this very much. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, how did you do? I hope you did as well as I did. I got 100%. That doesn't happen very often. I Sometimes I get it wrong. So, But anyway, we'll see you next week. Uh, is next week our last week of the show of the month? Or is that? Uh, I forget. Okay, sorry. Let me look at my calendar. But I think that next week uh, next week is the uh, 16th. And okay. we still have another short show. Okay. I, th I thought we were supposed to do our Okay, Let's Talk. Yeah, that's talk what I was confused. I was confused if we had our, la our Okay, Let's Talk or we we're going to have a short show. I don't. I forgot. So. Our Okay, Let's Talk should be the 23rd. Okay, so, uh, so we December. are doing one. So we are doing one before the before Christmas, right? But it's not on Christmas Eve, so okay. You know, while you're wrapping presents and having your eggnog with or without libations, and you want to listen to something fun, uh, we have an hour long uh, show on our OK Let's Talk show on Friday the twenty third. Excellent. All right, you better be there. I hope you're. I hope you're there with us on the twenty third because what Santa else are you Claus do? Santa Claus is watching. Right, exactly. And what else are you going to be doing on the twenty third? I mean, it's not like there's a holiday or anything going on. And why would you want to deal with those people when you could come and listen to us? <laughs> don't get drunk with strangers that can, you know. Yeah, don't get drunk with family off. members. Get drunk with strangers. That's get us. Drunk, get drunk and nobody with strangers stranger on the internet that. You know, it's totally right. consensual. Exactly. And nobody is stranger than we are. I'm just saying. <laughs> God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's no one stranger than I am. <laughs> is that fair? Is that fair? All right. We'll see you next week. This has been Packer Pokes that we just poked at your news. And that's a wrap.